Hey guys, Marcus Kacko with another Blindside update. Man, this Peterson story just doesn't seem to be going away. Um, obviously now he's plea bargained his way out of it to just a misdemeanor, but now the NFL is still saying, or there's some speculation, that he could still be suspended because the eight games he's missed so far was paid, and under a suspension it would be unpaid, and maybe there's some talk that, you know, he pays back some of the money, and then that way that was an unpaid suspension, and blah, blah, blah. So it sounds like Peterson potentially could still be suspended, I still have a lot of hope that he's going to play again this year. Um, I think best case scenario, obviously, it's going to be week 11. They're on a bye week this week. Um, worst case scenario, I'm thinking week 12, week 13, maybe something like that by the time they hash all this out. Um, hopefully, he's not suspended more, but if he is, I can't see them giving him any more than a couple of games, especially since this was a misdemeanor. He's never had any problems like this in the past, and he just sat out a team-mandated eight games, basically. So... Um, I don't see this going on much longer, but if it does, I think worst case scenario, you're talking maybe uh, maybe a couple of weeks at best. But uh, let's get into a couple guys and their practicing uh, today and yesterday and kind of how things have been progressing for some of these key injuries for your fantasy teams this weekend. Uh, first up, Monte Ball, limited in practice again today. It's looking like he's going to go this weekend, and it's an excellent matchup for the Broncos against Oakland. Uh, they're going to be able to run all over them, so... This might be the best game for Monte Ball to get back. You know, the Broncos could get up early and kind of just take all their starters out of the game, get Ball involved in the second half just to kind of get him back in the game flow and what's an easy matchup, get him some confidence back. But I think this is still Hillman's job from here on out, um, unless he severely messes up. But uh, it's Hillman's job. And like I said, maybe this weekend Ball will get a little bit of work in the second half if they get up big. Next up, Tony Romo was limited today out in England. Looks like he's going to be a game-time decision. I would make sure you have a backup quarterback on your roster ready to go and you pay attention to those noon inactives because uh, it's very possible still that Tony Romo could sit out. Uh, they are optimistic about it. They do want him to play, but you know it's all going to come down to how he feels on Sunday. Uh, next up, Calvin Johnson, uh, excuse me, Calvin Johnson practices in full today. That's what we've been waiting for, guys, to see him practice in full. He's saying he feels refreshed. He's motivated. He said this is the best he's felt in midseason, basically since he's been in the NFL. All good signs from Calvin Johnson. Uh, he's a definite must-start wide receiver one this week. He's back, guys. I know it's a tough matchup, but get him back in your lineup. And then finally, same team, Reggie Bush, full participation as well. Obviously not nearly as excited about Bush as you are about Calvin coming back, but uh, just wanted to point that out for you guys. All the receiving cores, all the, the full Denver uh, Detroit team, it seems, is going to be back for this one. So... Give, uh, give Matt Stafford a little bit of a boost, too. Don't forget to subscribe below for my daily fantasy updates, and follow me on Twitter, at Marcus Katkin.